Hello all, in this video I am going to tell you the difference between a source file, a program and a process. What I have commonly observed among students and even few experienced programmers is that they find it quite difficult and confusing in understanding the difference between uh, the terminologies called the source file, program and a process. The reason they find it confusing or difficult is because different books and different web pages on the internet use these terminologies interchangeably and that is the reason they find it uh, you know bit confusing. So in this video I will be clearly explaining you the difference between these terminologies called a source file, program and a process. So let's get started. What is a source code and what is a source file? So before explaining source file let me tell you what do you mean by a source code. An English like looking code that is human understandable written in high level programming languages like say C, C++, Java, Python or any high level programming languages right is basically called as a source code and the file that actually contains that source code is called as a source file. If you wish to write a C source code then you will have to write that code with a you know in a file with a dot C extension then that becomes a C source file. If you want to write a C++ code then that code has to be written in a file with a dot cpp extension and then that file becomes a cpp source file. If you wish to write a java code then that java code has to be written in a file with an extension dot java and this hello dot java becomes a uh, java source file. So basically a source file is a file that actually contains your source code high level source code that is in human understandable code right. So that is basically called as a source file. Now what do you mean by a program right. So we all know the fact that CPU cannot understand this high level source code right. It doesn't understand our English language. The only language that CPU understands is binary level language or low level language right or the binary code right. So when this source code will be uh, converted into your binary code using a tool called as compiler okay and that binary code is called as your program. Let me repeat right so source code cannot be understood by your CPU and that is the reason we make use of a tool called as a compiler and compiler will convert this high level English like looking source code into a binary code or a low level code or a low level binary code right. So that binary code is basically called as a program and a file that contains this binary code is basically called as an executable file. Right? So we have different formats for executable file including a.out, hello.exe or hello.class where a.out is basically an executable for uh, you know C and C++ program on a Unix like machines and uh, .exe is a format on Windows machines and uh, .class is basically a bytecode that you get after compiling your Java code. Right? So let me repeat program is nothing but an executable uh, file uh, which we get after compiling our source code that is basically called as a program. Now, so we have our source file which got converted into a program but we will have to now execute this, isn't it? So to execute this we will have to uh, take the help of a CPU, right? So when we start running this code, when we start running this program, what happens is that the program loader will get these instructions, right? This binary code is nothing but a set of CPU instructions, isn't it? So this CPU, these CPU instructions would be bought into the RAM by our program loader and CPU will start fetching these CPU instructions from the RAM one by one and will start executing. So this stage or this moment when CPU starts executing our instructions that was part of our program is basically called as a process. That is why the definition of a computer process is like this. Any program under execution is called as a process. Okay. So any program which is under execution by the CPU is basically called as a process. So process is nothing but a stage where CPU is fetching the CPU instructions from the program which is loaded into the RAM one by one and it starts executing our program and that stage or that moment or that period is basically called as a process. Right. So as a quick recap, let me give you a quick recap of whatever we discussed now. Okay. So we have a source code, a English like looking high level source code and that source code is written in a file called as a source file that is a original file. Right. So when we actually use a tool called as a compiler to compile the source code 
okay to convert that into a low level binary code that the cpu will understand and we get an executable file when we actually compile that and that file is basically called as a program and when that program is executed by the cpu right it actually becomes a process right so source file when compiled becomes a program and when program is being executed by the cpu becomes a process this is the difference between the terminologies okay source file a program and a process to repeat source file when compiled becomes a program and program when executed becomes a process let me show that practically to you okay i have this program okay called as sample.c it's a simple uh, c program okay it doesn't do anything it just has an infinite loop okay just to show you how the process works it's a simple program right now this is basically called as a source code right so this hello sample.c the sample.c is basically called as your source code so when i compile this using the compiler cc is a compiler when i compile this source code okay you can see that i got one executable called as a dot out let me open this a dot out this is basically a binary code that the cpu will understand okay so let us not try to make any sense out of it because we will not be able to understand anything right it's a binary code right so this is basically called as a program this is a source file and this is basically an executable file or a program okay this is a program so i'm now running that program dot slash a dot out i'm running this program right in the background and when i say ampersand it is basically i'm running it in the background okay so now the program has started running okay so the proof is that let me use a command called as ps minus ef okay when i run this command we can actually get all the programs that are actually running in our, on our machine and as you can see at the end over here we have a program called as you know uh, it dot a dot out do you see this this is our program under execution so now it has become a process a dot out has now become a process and the process id is 623 right so it was executed at 946 as you can see it is now 947 did you see the timings over here on the top this is 947 and this is the program which got executed at 946 right so so when i just scroll this to the top i can find the process can you see this this is called as the process id pid is called as the process id and the id given to my process is 623 that is 623 right so it means that this process is running now right so a dot out this is a program when it started running it became a process right so let me say ps minus efl another command okay as you can see here okay so yes this is our program which is under running state r stands for running the program is running so when this program is running right it becomes a process the others are on wherever you see yes they are all you know the processes in sleeping state right so this is in running state right so this is basically the difference right so as a quick recap okay sample.c was our um, okay so sample.c was our high level source code or you know uh, it is basically a source file which contains our source code a dot out is our binary code or our program right so the one which we got after compiling right so this is basically called as a program and uh, when we we have we have run this program so when we run our program that becomes a process right so any program that is being executed by the cpu becomes our process that is basically the difference between a source file a program and a process hope you clearly understood the difference between uh, these three terminologies okay so if you have liked my video please don't forget to subscribe and even don't forget to click on the bell icon okay let me meet you in the next video with lot of information until then take care bye bye see you